If you're wondering where my holiday attire is at, it's in the wash. Tis the season for another holiday themed pony comic. After spending last Christmas in the EQG world, we're staying in good old Equestria for this year's holiday special. Twilight and Spike are headed back to Ponyville for a holiday party after spending some time with their family. But when a blizzard traps them in the train station, they read some hearts warming stories to pass the time. What makes this issue particularly interesting is that while the entire comic is written by Katie Cook, each of the storybooks are drawn by a different artist, with Cook handling the art for all the segments in between. And since we're here, let's talk about the Katie Cook segments. This is actually the first issue where Katie Cook has done at least some of the art, not counting the various one and two page bookends in some comics. Now that her style is in an actual story, I gotta say that I kinda like it, with the facial expressions on the characters, especially Spike, being the best things about it. As a whole, it's simple but cute, which goes along well with the story as a whole. And she drew Princess Luna with glasses, so extra points for that. Our first story, The Flying Reindeer, drawn by Brenda Hickey, is a twist on the classic Rudolph story, with Rainbow Dash playing the central role. I've always liked seeing reimaginings of MLP characters as deer, so it was great to see it in some licensed material. Rainbow and Diamond Tiara look surprisingly cute as deer, and Rainbow's bolt-shaped antlers were a nice touch. The banter between Dash and Luna is pretty funny, but the ending was kinda quick. The next story, drawn by Agnes Garboska, is a retelling of the Nutcracker starring Rarity. Well, actually, it's more of a retelling of the start of the story before they just cut off. This was definitely the disappointing part of the comic. While the previous story had a really quick ending, at least it, you know, had an ending. The third and final story, drawn by Andy Price, is Twas the Night Before Christmas Apple Family Style. It's the most unique tale in the bunch, as it's presented like a children's book with a few illustrations here and there. You can tell that Price took advantage of the decreased workload and put more effort into the art here. Going this route was kind of a risk considering that this is part of a comic book, but it's a risk that definitely paid off, and I'd like to see the comics try this again in the future. I find this story to be the strongest because it not only delivers on the laughs, but it also gets you in the feels, and it captures the holiday spirit. I was just beginning to recover from Brotherhood Social and then they pull this. Not cool MLP. Not cool. Also, despite the fact that this story is a page shorter than The Flying Reindeer, it feels longer thanks to the format they chose, and it felt like a nicely paced short, which brings me to the one problem this comic has. Because the issue was constrained to the normal 20 page length that a standard MLP issue has, two out of the three stories felt rushed, and in the second one's case, it didn't even feel like a story. It makes me wonder why this issue wasn't the same length as last year's holiday special. Come to think of it, we haven't had an issue of that length all year, be it a holiday special or an annual. The first two stories really would have benefited from having that extra space, and I would have loved to see how the Nutcracker story would have unfolded if it had the room to do so. For what we got though, the comic was still good. We got some interesting takes on classic tales that take advantage of the different IDW artists, some funny bits in between along with a cute reunion at the end, and a good dose of laughs throughout the whole thing. While I wouldn't put it above the EQG Christmas special, this is still a worthwhile comic that makes for a great holiday read, and it was a nice cap on 2015 as we lead into the comics that next year will bring us. So what did you think of the 2015 holiday special? Let me know in the comments below or hit me up on social media, and consider supporting me on Patreon or commissioning me for art via PayPal. Have a sketchy holiday folks!